In today's video, we react to the At Whatever podcast, so don't forget to go check them out after you watch this video, of course. And in this episode, they talk about what dating was like and what dating is like today. And then they also talk to five women about their dating experiences, what they want and what they don't want. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I think right now I'm actively dating and talking to like <laughs> like seven guys, seven, eight. I don't like. Yeah, I got the same look as this woman right here. Seven? Fucking seven. She's talking to slash dating seven different men. Talk to all of them regularly. I don't see them regularly. How but, old you know. are you? I'm 25. Does this feel like 25? Fuck, man. That's weak game shit. If you don't have as many boyfriends as you do your age, you ain't a real hoe. Can I ask thing, though? Okay, so here's the real. Even I ugly guess. girls can get laid. Okay, but ah. ugly... ugly guys cannot get laid. So the real question. You want to bet on that? How much you want to bet? I got. I got five, uh, yeah, I got about five bucks from Peter Lee that I will bet on that, that ugly guys can't get laid. Give me, give me a chance until I get laid, and then I'll tell you when I get laid. And for women is, how many guys want to marry you? That Aww. is the real question. Do you even believe in marriage? Uh, I think in the U.S., and I think in maybe other places where it's not like the government has control over you, then right. yes. I think, like, marriage used to be something that was beautiful was like and amazing. <laughs> I think it used to hold be, on, like, the construct of controlling <laughs> women. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, guys, guys, stop for the super chat. Guys, shut up. Shut up. We need to hear the super chat. I mean, it is 50 bucks. Y'all can't be tens because some of you objectively look better than others. That is true. Yeah. Got a point there. I fucking hate this girl. Okay. Right here. Because she's talked the most. She won't shut up. She's learning to... I like her. Like, she's cute. Uh, she hasn't really said much, but the reactions that she's given to some of the shit that she has said, I support. Uh, these two, I have not heard a single word from these two, so I got no opinion. Uh, we've heard a couple words from her. And it's like, eh, okay. I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't like her. All these other women are all right. Continue with your point. Um, I said, uh, formerly, he, you were saying marriage used to be a beautiful thing. I think formerly marriage existed as a construct to control women. No, I, I can see your point there. Because it's like, I don't know, we're not talking now, okay? We're talking in the 1900s, okay? When a woman got married to a man, she was basically forced to become a housewife. Stay at home, take care of the house, uh, take care of the man and the kids. However, modern day, nowadays, it is completely different. I do not agree with her point nowadays, but I do think that marriage, I don't feel, feel like it was made up to control women, but it kind of seemed like that throughout times, you know? Like, oh, before you got married, you were a free woman, but as soon as you got married, oh, you're tied down to the man in the house. Like, now, I agree, it is completely different. I don't feel like it was built on that concept, but I feel like it developed that concept, if you guys get what I'm saying. Generally, I can understand why people think that marriage back then would mean enslaving women, but back then, the idea of love was really unclear and usually mixed up with the need to have power, in my opinion. But yeah, I, I can see your point. Yeah, like I said, I don't think it was built on that concept, but I think it kind of started... Um, adapting that concept, and I feel like some men back then definitely thought it was like, oh man, I'm gonna have uh, basically someone to work for me if I marry someone. I definitely do think some men back then thought that way. Let's see what else we'll hear. You don't have to count. That. Or actually, I that was the wrong one. No, holy, everybody on. just like wanted to do a that. hunky dory. We're all in love, you know. Yeah, women were actually Wait. always chasing guys to get married. Women were actually chasing guys to get married because that was his protector. That was the guy who's paying. I don't fully agree with that. Women were always chasing men. I feel like it was whoever 
basically wanted love the most. Whoever was in love the most was the person chasing. Yeah, I can, I can see why you said that too. A majority of the time, it was probably a woman chasing after the men. I just don't feel like it was all women. Yes, Wait, exactly. yeah, but don't you understand hold on, hold on, the systemic okay. sexism that has led women to the like that led women to the point of needing to get married? Bar Mar women marriage happy was now? marriage was not something to control women. I actually think now, these days in this generation, especially this year, that a lot of the men are the ones that are really rushing into marriage, especially the ones. No, who no, no, no. no, it's the complete opposite. Men don't want to get married nowadays. Men don't want to date for I'm going to say it, the toxic femininity that has been going on for like the past couple years, maybe more. Military and especially the ones Correct. that I have a Carson. lot of backlash. Yeah, I think now personally in this generation, like women don't get a lot of benefits out of being married. Like it just adds a lot of problems. It mm -hmm. adds more to my life. Actually, than women a get lot. more. Actually, women get more because if you guys get divorced, you guys take half of the shit and take the kids. That's yeah, what if he doesn't have anything? anything. She's yeah, the one so, that's working. But what if he doesn't have anything? Then you got nothing to take. You're acting like that's your problem. If anything, that's his problem because he doesn't have anything. Oh, boo hoo! You're not taking any of his shit. Do you even want to reason. marry a guy who doesn't have anything? I yeah. have. That's why I divorced him. He had nothing. Oh, Let me. Yeah. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. <laughs> I love this girl's reactions. She is like everyone else listening to this podcast. She's like, oh, you probably shouldn't have said that. Oh. You're going to get canceled. You're walking a fine line here. Why is this? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> because I want to listen to stupid shit, I guess. I don't know. And we found it. We, I wanted to listen to a stupid argument on a podcast, and we fucking found it. Let me tell you something. You Let me tell you something. With men in the military, like... They only want to marry you because it gets them more money at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. so, especially mm -hmm. Marine men yep. and Navy yep. men, I can tell you that most of them, like, I've had men that are in the Marines that have literally only hit me up and talked to me because they want me to marry them. That's the, uh, that's but a, I don't get anything out of it. Yeah, that's an interesting thing about the. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because a few guys that you have fucked from the navy the marines or whatever is every guy in the army every guy in the navy every guy in the marines uh, of course sorry my bad i forgot every guy is the same but every woman is her unique self my bad but anyways um no what you think that because a man is in the military that any time he meets with a girl or dates a girl or fucks a girl, he just wants to marry her just so he gets more money? Not because, you know, he's trying to fight for the country um, because love is a natural thing, um, because maybe he's a virgin and he wants to lose his virginity. Um, maybe because he's going through shit and back almost every day and he just wants someone to hold him, tell him that he loves him? No? Okay. My bad. The military, there's a lot of guys who are actually simps in the military because one, they're not, and you guys might have a lot of experience with this, with talking to guys in the military. Mm -hmm. One, because they don't, they aren't around a lot of females, right? You're only surrounded by like 99% of dudes. Mm -hmm. Another thing as well is, yeah, the benefits. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We're going to read this or just want to have some fun before dying. Exactly. You're telling me you want to. If you had the risk of dying every day that you go out on the field, you're telling me that you wouldn't want to get your dick sucked almost every day? You're telling me you wouldn't want, I don't know, sticking in someone's ass almost every day? If you had the chance of dying tomorrow, you're telling me you wouldn't or that you don't want to? Fuck. Now I gotta dance? <laughs> Be easy with $20 said. So stupid if everyone is a 10, then it becomes average making you a 5. A chair full of roles would tell everyone else to love themselves. Your confidence and what you feel about you isn't what you see. Spoken like a true champ. Guys, yeah, get married so you could get off of base because you get to live off base and you get paid. So a lot of guys are very interested in the idea of marriage. So they'll just go out and marry a stripper and then she divorces him, she cheats on him, whatever. So okay. it's not good. Hold on. So... 
I, w- I need to really focus in on what we're actually talking about. You had something to say. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. So I want to say that with marriage, I think for the military, a lot of them don't have like exposure to other women. So then when they get into the military, especially when they get in young, they're also a bit naive because they don't have a lot of dating experience. So immediately they think, when I date this girl, she's kind of into me. Oh my God, I want to marry her. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So guys, sorry, I, I will get to the soup chats here, but okay. I want to bring it back to the rating system thing. So you said you were 10. You said all the girls at the table are 10. Yeah. You gotta so, love yourself, man. But, but so if everyone love yourself, if you don't love yourself, then you don't think you're a 10. A 10 can, can we agree on this following statement? Some people are more physically attractive than others. No, I think that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So. So you literally just answered your own fucking question. If beauty is in the eye of the beholder and the eye holder doesn't think that you are a 10, then technically not everyone is a 10. Oh, I don't agree with that. Okay, but there are... There... You can't agree with something that you just agree... You... Oh my gosh, you can't disagree with something that you just agreed with. Even though you just contradicted your own point, just because you don't physically say that you don't agree, or just because you don't physically say that you agree with it, doesn't mean that you don't automatically agree with it. You get what I'm saying? I'm a 20 mate. I, you're more than a 20 to me, Peter Lee. There are certain, like, there's something to aesthetics, like, there's Dude, something about they're, face. They're both holding back their laughter, like, they're trying so hard facial symmetry that generally speaking if you put together a group of a hundred people they can sort of like they'll rank people by attractiveness and they'll kind of right more attractive is more symmetrical well they'll be able to reach consensus so if everybody's a 10 nobody's a 10 that we came up with it 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 doesn't exist there's nothing nothing can be perfect so if everyone's a 10 then Okay, so you think you're a 10. Yeah. I think I'm fucking gorgeous. I think I'm perfect. I mean, okay. I'll be honest. I thought she was pretty. Yeah, I think she is pretty. However, her personality and her attitude fucking ruins it for me. It completely puts me off. I think that this girl right here in the black shirt is probably the best looking. I think she's the best looking out of all of these. Now, of course, looks doesn't matter. Um, However, she also has done nothing to contradict my point on why I shouldn't like her. She hasn't really said much. She's made the same facial reactions as me. Her, on the other hand, has said multiple things for me to disagree and not like her. Um, same with her, though I don't want to hate her for her um, army men just want to get married to fuck opinion. Like, that's not really that bad of an opinion, I'll be honest. Like, is it a nice opinion? No, but it's not that bad. Um... She's practically agreed with everyone. She's like the night. Her and her are like the nicest out of everyone here. They're like trying to keep it civil and nice. She gives zero fucks. Her, I feel like she doesn't give zero fucks either, but she's too naive that she doesn't want to get yelled at. So she's trying to keep it quiet. She's not trying to say everything that's on her mind. Listen, don't take this the wrong way. And my bad, my bad, my bad. I forgot one, one woman. Um... Oh, I mean, honestly, what is there to say about her? She also hasn't said much. Um, She hasn't really given many facial reactions. That's why I accidentally skipped her, because I'll be honest, she's like the most forgettable out of all of these. She hasn't really said much. She hasn't really reacted to anything. She's just been sitting there. I think she said, what, two sentences, maybe? And it was sentences that were already said literally right before her. The 10. So that, then... that's my opinion on all of those women. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you think you're a 10? Yeah. Don't I think th- I'm fucking gorgeous. I think I'm perfect. Listen, don't take this the wrong way. You're not Please a 10. Play it on. <laughs> he, he's right. I mean, he's right. Even he agrees. He's like, yeah. He's like, I'm going to get away. I don't want to look her in the face as soon as he said that. Or he's probably looking at the camera to see her reaction because he doesn't want to look her right in the face. You're, you're not a 10. Okay. That's just your opinion. I'm, I'm not... Well, then that's just your opinion that you're a 10. 
Even she agreed to that love her facial reactions. She's holding back so much. <laughs> I'm gonna rate you, but you're not a ten. Okay, you don't have to rate me, and that's just your opinion. Okay, I'll say it again. Then that's just your opinion that you think you're a ten. So then, theoretically, you can't you can't always be a ten. Well, it is. Listen, look. You don't like fat bitches. <laughs> <laughs> All three of them are like, holy shit, she pulled that card. <laughs> well, you took it there. Wow! <laughs> oh, everyone. Everyone now is like, holy shit, she took it there. Oh, you could have just said no. That's okay. Actually, Not everybody. Okay. Okay. Does. I don't Actually, okay, I don't okay, like listen, that, let me you. tell you something. Everyone has personal preference, and at the end of the day, overall, there is always going to be someone better or something that has someone that has something more than what you have and everyone is attracted to different people so like i could say he's attractive but i could say he's not attractive right but someone else could find him attractive and someone could find him ugly sure so everyone's but a 10. because bob got a on the multiple uh choice question and samantha got c that the answer is d well, actually, it could be. But, like, you get my point. You that, get what I was trying to say there. Not everyone I'm here high, is so a 10. My Nobody words make sense. I don't think anyone here is a 10. Exactly. By the way, 10s have modeling contract. Like, Are you saying that that's not something that I could have? Oh, bro, that's not. But you're trying to start an argument. You're trying to get them canceled. Here's the, here's the I guess here's my issue with people rating themselves as a 10. If you gas yourself up to the point where you have an inaccurate self-assessment of your physical attractiveness, you are going to be trying to command a partner that, quite frankly, you are not going to be able to lock, lock down for long-term commitment. If you, th if I think, well, men and women are different, so I, I can be delusional, but it's not really going to help. Women can still sleep with men, but those men will never commit to them. So... Who says... That I'm looking for commitment, though. I mean, you know what I mean. Like they're not talking about you. When did he say any like you, her, she? None. He hasn't. He has even pointed at you. There is like. Do you want kids one day? She thinks. Okay, there we go. Now he finally said she. I think she thinks she's the main character. No. Do you want to have a, a life partner one day? Do you per maybe? Do you prefer? Mate, so not at the moment. Is the right having answer. relationships, or do you prefer just having a constant rotation of men? I prefer to be single, and sometimes that includes a rotation of men, and sometimes that includes just me. Okay, well, to each their own. However, I would say most women, generally speaking, they want to have. Most women want to have kids and want to have a family. Yeah. Not all women, certainly, and even women who don't, though. If you're, if you have an inaccurate self-assessment of your physical attractiveness you're going to think that you deserve a certain caliber of man that you might be able to sleep with maybe but he's just not going to commit to you and you're going to look at men that are actually your looks equivalent and you're going to think you're settling for them when in reality that's your equivalent and you're going to treat those guys like shit or you're, you're just not going to even fuck with them to begin with right you're going to and, and I think that's the big problem with modern dating. Women will confuse sexual interest for relationship interest mm -hmm. because women can uh, very easily sleep with really, men that are. If that a, episode wasn't five hours long, we would watch it. Of a higher either socioeconomic status or physical attractiveness. Those men might sleep with you, but they'll never commit to you. So women can sleep with like pretty attractive guys because those attractive guys welcome the easy access. Welcome to the Whoa, man. Gotta be careful what you say there. Prosperous. 